Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Fox. Welcome back. Right now, I'm doing my tutorial that I said I'd do this morning. So, yeah. Um, this is going to be how to, like, get custom presets when you're making skins. And how to make your own models for Minecraft PlayStation 3 Edition. This works on all other consoles except Xbox One and Switch, too. Um, yeah, it works on those that have Minecraft. You just put the PCK file somewhere different. So yeah, you're gonna download this file from the description, and it's PCK Studio 2, and it's got the presets. And you open it up. The presets are in plugins and presets. <clears throat> oh crap! Just so you know, and I'll show you how to make your own preset in like two seconds. I'm using my not main monitor for this, for this recording, so it's kind of lagging, but whatever. Yeah, presets, if you're curious, this is all that's in them. It's not even that much. Yeah, this is my preset. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Alright, no, but just open this up and extract the file called release. When you do that, just go ahead, open it, then double click on PCK Studio. A PCK is the file type Minecraft PS3 Edition skin packs have. Your this is gonna pop up, and you just wanna press File New. But if you're um if you're adding on to a skin pack, you just wanna press Open. You wanna click on the zero in this pack ID, and type in a random four to three digit number then LOC if you double click on that you can rename your skin pack I'm just gonna name it tut for a tutorial there and you want to copy and paste that to everything but I don't feel like doing that right now alright you want to right click LOC and press create and click on skin you can either select a texture so, uh, I know I have presets somewhere. Alright, let me find it. I've got skins everywhere, all around my computer, and I'm just looking for the thing that says release right now. There it is. Plug in. Alright, I had presets in here. So this is a cereal box skin, okay, there's a cereal box preset, it's a big cereal box though. Uh, you want to click server for the skin ID, name it whatever you want, and press create skin. And you just gotta delete the things except the like name ID and stuff like that. But in order to use presets, you right click, press add preset, and then you got all of these so this was giant cereal box you want to just press add and boom you got now that's just like a modded skin you want to make sure you get a file and you get a metadata and press add and turn on caps lock and type in offset this basically just allows custom skins to be saved and stuff like offsets are like moving the body parts where they're not supposed to be and most skins have that hard to explain but yeah um, now I'm gonna show you how to make your own custom skin like have tutorials on this already but no one watches them so yeah alright so you're gonna alright here let me explain that you wanna click on create go to skin make sure you always click on the languages.loc file you gotta right click it to make skins Press server, always make sure you do that. And you want to press generate and press yes. And now you want to go over and press load template. So here you can mod all your stuff. And at the end you can import your textures and stuff. So let's just say I want my head to be really wide. And really, really tall. You're going to change these two. And... This one, what the, oh, I need to click on head. 
This one makes it like longer from the side. And there's different views, but yeah. So then you want to click on these bottom ones and you want to move it like move it around using these offsets and put it where you want it to be. So now my person just has like a really really big head. Uh yeah. So now I'm just going to make it so this skin registers like the whole thing as a head so that in battle mode I can just fly around as this giant as this giant monstrosity. So yeah, I'm just making it so the whole skin so in order to register it as a head though, you want to go to parent and you want to make it head. Don't do this for every skin. Do not do this for every skin. I'm just doing it for this one because I want it, the full thing to be registered as a head for battle mode. Body, let's just change that to a head. Uh, that doesn't need to be moved, I guess. Uh, yep. A head. Yeah, all credit goes to Noble Des for making this tool. Not all the presets and stuff, but just the tool itself. Yeah, if any of you guys have a copy of um, the old Minecraft US skin editor tool, you should send it to me, because I don't have it anywhere anymore. Since my computer got the blue screen of death. Alright, so there's the front. Yep. And when you're done with your skin, here, I just want to show you something, actually. You want to turn off auto-generated texture. This is just so you can see, like, where stuff is. And you can, like, make it your regular skin. And then you can turn it back on, and it'll be auto-generated. Oh, yeah. This is a big thing, too. So, this is all, like, the head right over here is all of that so all this yellow is literally just all of that I don't think I can fit it in there honestly but it doesn't really matter for your skin actually yeah no I can't fit the whole thing but it doesn't really matter like I said but moving around body parts and stuff really does matter just so that they're not all like the same texture and they're not all crowded together these are the textures right here so yeah, you need to make sure you change that, because now this skin has like black and stuff on it, because <laughs> like, it's reading areas that aren't real, but whatever, I'll just create the skin, yes, alright, 64 by 64, name it whatever you want, press create, uh, that doesn't matter, could not clear cache, that doesn't matter at all. Um, yeah, so now you got yourself your modded skin that you just created. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, that's really all you have to do. And with these presets, it makes skin modding so much easier. Like, you guys don't understand. Oh, yeah, here. Let me show you how to make your own preset now. So, I just want to right-click this, and I want to press Extract. Presets, and I'm going to just name this lol what the f okay save all right let me go here plugins presets all right right here is the preset but in the preset what you want to do is get rid of display name that's all you want to do just get rid of display name Oop. Just so that the thing you add this on to has the same name that it did in the first place. Alright, you want to press rename and you want to name the preset. So this is what the F LOL. Now I'm just going to get copy, presets, paste. Alright, I'm not sure if it's instantly here. Yep, it is. So you just click it. Here, let me make a new skin. Guys, always make sure you press server. 
Oh, yeah, and if you want a cape on your skin, you just click the little box right there. And that's a cape. So you, that you select the... Oh, man. You select the cape texture after you click on that box. I don't know if it's going to work, but... What the... F Why did it just crash? It never does that. Ah, whatever. I'll just make another new skin pack. Yeah, what's up? I'm recording. I'm about to get in the hot tub. I'm about to get in the hot tub. Alright. I don't know why it just crashed. It never really does that. So I just make sure you're always, like, saving your work, I guess. That That's a first for me, but whatever. Oh, what? I already... Fuck. I opened a lot of them on accident. Alright, so, uh, new skin. Server. Okay, my thing's crashing. It's because I'm not really, like, connected to good Wi-Fi. And the server's just not working. But, yeah. D just to add the presets, just do what I did. Yeah. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, though. Found it useful. Link is in the description. And, um, yeah, I already have tutorials on how to make the backups themselves. This is just how to make the skins. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed, and peace out.